Hello and uh, welcome back. Uh, today I have a double power supply. It is from uh, Turbly, now known as uh, the TTI. And uh, it is the PL320. So it's uh, 30 volts, 2 amps, but twice. And uh, yeah, I found it on the local eBay, our Markplatz again. And uh, it should be working, so we're going to check that. We can do a little bit of cleaning and uh, one cap is missing and the pot is really heavy while the other ones are good. So maybe we can spray clean it a little bit and uh, let's have a closer look. Well here it is, a nice uh, red display, four digits. So it's kind of precise for that time. Well not calibrated, not calibrated. We can take those stickers off because it had doesn't really have a value. You can really see it is two separate power supplies, just like I, uh, you saw with that uh, Farnell power supply I had before, but that one had analog meters, and you can buy it as a single one, and you can buy them as a double one. Well, very clearly it's a double one. Uh, power on off, you can switch the outputs on and off. That is really nice. The damping, I don't know what it is, to be honest. I need to find that out. Oh, well, it is not rusty at all. Not too many scratches also in the front, that is nice. This is a little bit bent, this we need to fix. This one is heavy, this one is good. Is good, missing a gap. Hopefully we can find one. One is kind of heavy. It's nice, also a bit heavy. We can clean that as well. It doesn't even have too much scratches on the top, so that is only cleaning, cleaning. This side is nice. This side is nice. How it looks in the back. Well, it's an analog power supply, so we probably find those uh, 3055s. And I have the heat sink protected underneath. That is nice. It is made for 240, that's good. Made in England, Turbly Electronics. What year? I don't know. It does still look very nice. Well, let's see what it does. Okay, let's switch it on. I powered it on, had the proper European plug. It is from the Netherlands, so it should be. Should be. As you can see, four digits. Very nice. Same here. This is the current limit. I don't know what is the damping. So it can do a little bit more than 2 amps. And probably when you switch the output on, then the readout is what it actually is doing. Yeah. Oh, and it's kind of smart. So if we set it to 1 amp, oh. let's see, oh, accurate that is, well we can try to short it and put a multimeter, and I like it when you switch it off it displays the setting, okay. I switched on the Kitli also in the back, so we can see if the voltage is uh, correct or not. So we need to switch on the output. And it's 14.26, 14.26, nothing wrong with that, I would say. And the voltage is also put it to 24, 27, full power, 32, 31, 32, 31. That one is correct. Wow. I found the calibration already, but it was not necessary. 5 for R. Ah, this one is a little bit low, so we can adjust that. 
Yeah. Okay. Let's adjust that light then. Let's see the. This is 500 millis. Put the two amps. Auto mode. Change it over. So 500. Let's see if it goes to 500. Yes, it does. This one is taking its time, but uh, this one is stable. Cool. And you see it's blinking because it is now in constant current. So if we lower the voltage, yeah, it goes off. You see there is no constant current now. And now it's constant current. Wow, I like it. This is kind of slow. That is maybe the damping. No. But this one was immediately poof. So that's good. Is that the same for the one amp? Here we go. Yeah. Nine, 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 nine. Yeah, look at this. Perfect. So the current is good. Only the voltage of this one can be adjusted a little bit better. There are little scratches on the display, but it's still very bright. So maybe we can clean that. Um, I think we open it up. Here you can see it is some nice uh, quality. It doesn't look that old at all, and you immediately see that they have built this a lot better than the Chinese power supplies. Because here we have one, two, two uh, 3055s for two amps, and in the back they have again two, one here, one here, so that means four. So for these two amps, they use four. 3055s, why well, you see in the Chinese uh, power supplies they just use one or two, but here they want to be sure they use four and they put a huge heat sink and uh, that looks good. The caps look quite new instead of a combined bridge rectifier, they have separate diodes. They actually have one diode extra, I don't know why they have some caps. And nice circuit board. It all looks quite new actually. Both sides are identical. The serial number is even very close. 4612, 4615. Big transformer. And they really just put those together here, right here. Yes, and here you can see the two and uh, 3055s, two here, two on the other side. They have, uh, you can see two identical heat sinks, and they just mirror them together. Well, I already did uh, clean the heat sinks and the back plates I put back. That looks a lot nicer. And now, I'm going to do the front. I think we take all the buttons out. One sticker I already removed. That works. We'll try to remove uh, that one as well. Remove all the connections here and clean everything. And I try to put some cleaning material. Oh, it just goes like this. Perfect.
Okay, those are terminal shorts. I did a little bit with the breast cleaner again. And that really, really works. Now we can just put these back. Yeah, that looks a lot, lot, lot better. Full shiny. Okay, I found uh, two different surface manuals and I, one of them, the PCB, looks a lot like I have here and we still need to adjust the voltage here. So, I just put that to A value. Yeah, volts. The amps were good and now We need to adjust and it should be uh, RV5 which is the top one. It is a little bit hard to reach but I have a very tiny screwdriver. Oh, yeah, that is indeed the one. Maybe if I set it to something nice. 65 exactly then we need to make 65 here Okay, perfect. Okay, look at this. This is a lot better. It's all shiny. It is a lot uh, lighter. You can really see the type numbers and it's still very good uh, visible. And uh, we adjusted the voltage meter, so now they really give the correct value. I tried to set it uh, to a fixed uh, value. But it can do 32 volts, 2.2 amps. Sometimes a fractional more, but it's very bright. If I switch off, look how visible the display is. It's still very bright. I think it's a nice result. So that's it, the thoroughly all clean, all adjusted, ready for use. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time.